the ink fish bone quill and then we expect to see the be prepared y'all yep, there it is but guess what mufasa lives mufasa gets us kick cloud kicker played to the battlefield who can quest for three next turn all by himself Nani? we just found this deck and we're pretty interested in playing it it's called blue fossa and that tickles my fancy because we got mufasa here we don't have the blue mufasa but that's okay does it play the shift kit line? No, I think the shift kit line is pretty cool. It plays Rockstar Stitches, Surfer Stitches, one Chernabog, lots of deck throw one Chernabog. It plays Grandma Tala, and it's a shift line for Grandma Tala. Does it have the shift queen? Yeah, it does. We'll see what it's about. This is what we learned in this video. Lantern is good again. Not a lot of people are running the items disruption. We do get the Lantern banished by a Benja. A rogue Benja, but... <laughs> It's bound to happen. Number two, the big three lore quest characters are there for Mufasa's revenge. When Mufasa leaves the battlefield, you already know we're going to get a three cost lore character. So good. And then number three, blue cards don't always have to be rampant. Like, blue cards can be good doing other stuff. They aren't just ramp, they're there for other stuff too. We get paired against that Emerald Steel, a common discard deck that's going around right now. One of the top decks. The deck that I played all the set championships, we get a Kidda, the legendary. We get a big queen line. Should we ink Kidda? We get a victory. That's a dub already. Incredible value. We get paired against the green steel, just like last time. But this person is definitely a different name. We get to go first, we get a lantern, a lantern. Kidda, I think we're throwing back one lantern at least. Pongo, Stitch can be ink so i'll throw her back pongo's cool as a three drop we don't need two piggies we don't need any piggies if this is our two drop so then we're keeping pongo and stitch we get a kidna cheering about ew ew yuck ew 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 nothing good to see here ladies and germs it looks like we're gonna have to ink the kit to play our lantern. We get a Hades. We ink the kit. And you know it. We're going to play our lantern. Are we scared about a shift? Not at all. We're scared about not winning. We quest for one and pass the turn. Next turn, we won't even have to ink because we probably won't draw an ink. And then we'll exert and play Pongo. Pongo, you may pay two ink to reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a character, Put it into your hand. Otherwise, put it on the bottom of your deck. You don't even have to exert Pongo. You could just once a turn. I want another card. Crazy. For two, they play Ursula, and they're going to look for a song to discard. But guess what, buddy? We ain't got no card to discard. But now they know our strategy. Our strategy, and we get a Rockstar Stitch, which might be helpful. Never. Three, four, anything for four, not a chance. So we just, would we have ink left over if we play Pongo for two? Could we use his ability? Nope. And we quest for one. That's two big ones already on board. You know what our opponent has? Goose eggs, no lore for them. They ink a Daisy Duck, which is okay with us. And then for three, we can see their Ursula come out. Have you seen their Ursula come out? Cool thing about Pongo is he's going to get his card draw. Ooh, we see a Lin come out. That's not Ursula. We take those. We get a little piggy. If we ink and use Lantern, we would have five. We play Piggy for one, we could still use Pongo. Do we just use Pongo now? Or do we use it to take out the big bad Ursula? We get Grandma. Which we don't want to ink. Oh, it's ink. We didn't have to ink her. 
Why would we want to anchor? Five, six next turn? No, we just get out our little piggy. Do we take out Ursula or do we want one more? I think we take out the threat. I guess that's bad news because now they can take out Pongo and then we can't just draw with Pongo for freezies. We cooling though. We're hoping for no Benjas. It's an Ursula. There's a beast going right into the ink. For one, we can see a Merfolk here. They quest their Flynn and pass the turn. What do we value more, another Simba or a Gaston? I think we value Simba the most. He's only two, so we can pay two for Rockstar Stitch. Which can go into the inkwell. Three, four. Yeah, we play our Simba as a bodyguard. We'll go ahead and quest her out. What are they going to do? They're going to ping damage to Pongo and that? I don't think so. I think we're chilling doing that. I think they don't know that we don't know. We expect to see a Prince John and a Sing Sudden Chill here. They ink a Mr. Smee. We could also see a Let the Storm Rage On to take out our Piggy and Pongo. We see a Beast. And then we see a Let the Storm Rage On, which lets them draw two cards, which is a weird sequence, but that's what they gotta do. They take out our little Piggy, and then they draw a card, and then they play it again from the discard, and they take out our Pongo. Oh no. Not our Pongo. That reduced the cost of our Chernabog to eight, which we have six. What do we want here? Do we like Mufasa more than him? We could also get to um, Hades now, which gives them an ink, but then we have Hades. I think that might be what we do here, because we're crazy like that. And then we're going to exert, play our Hades. And that gets rid of their thing. Attacking the Ursula just a little bit. And we don't want to discard. We like our cards, so we quest. Their Flynn can have two more lore. That don't bother us none. Six, seven. If they kill one of our characters, we get to play Chernabog next turn. They do sudden chill and they sing it, so we gotta get rid of both of them. It's too bad. So sad. But it's what it do be like. Goodbye, Chernabog, the one copy of Chernabog in the whole deck. And they put out a Benja to get rid of our lantern. No! Benja! Three, two, one, two, one, three, two. Three, two, one. I think that's what we gotta do. We're gonna attack that, attack that. Put at the queen. Simba, one, two, zero. Simba. Takes out the big meanie, Ursula. Man, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done it with this dude. What am I doing? I guess it's okay, because I get to quest for two. I guess we're cooling. We're at 11, no cards in our hand. They have three cards in our hand. What do you think? Are we going to pull out of this one? They play a uh, five cost, six cost Robin Hood. That quest for four lore. That's major lore every turn and then they decide to take out our kid we get a rockstar stitch or as i like to call them played on the battlefield they can get six next turn we can get a couple this turn ourselves let's see if i do two now i'm at 14 14 plus three plus that is 19 that's the wrong number three four three three four 
Oof. It hurts, but it's okay. It's what we had to do. They're going to get too far ahead. If we didn't take out that Benja there, they'd have game on board next turn. And we can't let that happen. Let the Storm Rage on does two damage. Who are they going to take out? Is it our queen? Or are they doing damage to our Hades? It is our queen. Good night, sweet princess. They have four ink. They ink the doll. Duck for five. We can see a beast. It's two for Flynn Rider. And three for Prince John. They go ahead and quest Ea Boy. We get a Pluto, which we don't have enough ink for. Do we have to eight next turn? Seventeen. Gosh, really wish I had a lantern right about now. What do you think? Did we just seal the deal there? They could take out either one of them. They would have to take out Stitch here. Ooh, Strength of the Raging Fire. Didn't see it coming. They have to take out Stitch here. But could they also just wipe or hold the ward? They do it to Hades, which isn't enough to take out Hades. And, oh, they could still take it both out. Bummer. They did the right math to clear a whole board. But that's okay. All they have is the robbity bobbity. We, we got to have something going for us. We got a pongo. Pluto, Pongo. Pluto, three, Pongo would die. Pongo, welcome to the battlefield. Pluto, as bodyguard or not as bodyguard? We do it as bodyguard to bait them, and then they won't know that we have healing power. They quest it. We heal ourselves before we draw. We get Kidda. Kidda makes... Oh, no. Don't play Kidda first. That would make us not be able to kill him. We have to kill him. LOL. Oh, LOL. And we play Kidda, and now we have game on board. Gosh, that was almost really bad if we played Kidda there. Right? Right? Wouldn't it have been so bad if we played Kidda? Oh no, they Zeus one of them. They Zeus ya boy. And who do they play? It's Curse Merfolk. We're in a race now, boys. We get uh, Simba out? No, that's Simba's dad. Simba's papa. And as long as they don't be prepared here, we should be okay. They put out another Curse Merfolk, and that is the game. In the bag, blue fossa. No, this was some weird thing. Yeah, that was blue fossa. Let's get it. One more. We'll see if we figured it out. People don't know how to respond to the off meta decks. We get going against the sapphire ruby with our very own blue fossa. We get a lantern. We'll have to see it. Kidda, more like Inca, unless we pull the shift kidda. You. You, you, ink, you. Mufasa will be our turn five, hopefully. Our goal is to put him out of Mufasa. He will be our shining star. You, you. Very interesting. One is the popsicle. They're on a roll, dude. They got the best start in all of blue. We ink ya boy surfer stitch, and you already know it's a big pass turn. Can't do Piglet next turn. We'll have to do Simba next turn. 
Symmetry four. If we do a lantern, then we can do uh, Piggy and Simba the next next turn. Weird choices. There are no little stitches in this deck, which makes it hard to justify keeping the big stitch until we get to more ink. They ink their queen and play develop your brain. We can see another popsicle here or another develop your brain here. Looks like they did something. Looks like they did a second develop your brain. Good for them. Do we go ahead and get our lantern out? Or a Simba or a piggy? I think we go ahead and get a lantern out. What happens if we exert it? Nothing. We pass the turn. We made them think that we had something though. Gosh, they were scared. If you could see our opponent's face, <laughs> they do the turn three fishbone quill. And they're gonna have some major control coming up. Ink stitchy boy. So we're basically at four ink. Which, like I said, is going to be Little Piggy and uh, Simba. And we pass. Next turn, we can play our Mufasa. Girl, why is you lion? Why you Mufasa? Their Hiram comes to the battlefield and banishes their popsicle to draw two cards because who wanted to do that? They targeted our Simba. Leave Simba alone. They ink and then we're going to be prepared next turn. So that means that we definitely want to move Fasa. We will ink. Do we get rid of Pongo here? I think we get rid of the protective cub here. And then it is a Mufasa territory for sure. We get to quest for three and four and pass the turn. We're definitely in be prepared territory. It's weird that they didn't ink first. But okay, maybe they have all the cool control cards in their hand. Or maybe they're a bad player, Matty P. They ink Fishbone Quill, and then we expect to see the Be Prepared. Y'all, there it is. But guess what? Mufasa lives. Mufasa gets us kick Cloud Kicker, played to the battlefield, who can quest for three next turn all by himself. And has wards, so they can't dragon fire. We could play something for six this turn if we ink stitch. But I think we'll just play two of those. We don't really want to bait out the more stuff though. Yes, we will. We get out Baloo. If they be prepared, then they're going to have to give us two lore and then we get to quest for three. And we're going fast. Kate Cloudkicker quests for three lore and has ward. Incredible value. The Maui comes out and he can take out Kate Cloudkicker. If only we were wise enough to bodyguard knowing that they were playing Ruby. That was a big mistake on our part. There's Detective Mickey to ramp him a little bit more. We get Pluto. Which we can't play Pluto. But we could play Gaston to get us an ink. I think Mufasa is just going to play and just win us games. Um, because they'll be able to keep getting rid of them. And Mufasa will just keep being able to come back. Cluedo, welcome to the ink world, buddy. And we quest. Do we? Yeah, we do. Because they're not going to double Maui us, right? They might double Maui us. We're questing. We gotta go fast. We expect to see the bee prepared here because we have too much lore on board with Gaston. Maybe not. They do Lady Tremaine. 
if I do that, then they have to take out Pongo. That would have to take that out, which is cool. So yeah, it is uh, Baloo is banished. That gains us two lore to go to 11th. Pretty cash money. Now uh, he has to take that out, and that gets to take him. They ink a fish hook, and then for four, we could see, I don't know, another Mickey. Or we could see how far I'll go. They do a McDuck Manor, which is a great move. We get Chernabog. Do we do Chernabog here? Or Mufasa? They have nothing to discard us with. Let's move Fasa. And we Questa. And we Passa. They play a Maui, which is going to take out our Gaston. R.I.P. Gaston. Put an R.I.P. Gaston in the chat. <laughs> they quest for two big ones with Lady Tremaine. And they're leaving Mufasa alone. We get a blue, which might be GG's for them. That's 16. We are going to go ahead and bodyguard blue. And... We Chernabog to bait out there, be prepared? I guess so. It's time for Chernabog. Dun, dun, bah, bah, bah. And then we exert Lantern just to be crazy. They get two lore from their McDuck Manor, but we got lots of good stuff on board. Their only bet here is to be prepared. And they don't have the uh, item draw to do it. Ooh, they take out our Baloo, which gives us two more lore. That goes to 18. And reduces the cost of Chernabog summoning by one. We'll see if they dragon fire here. We definitely see. Oh, they concede. This deck makes people concede. Play this deck at sickle mode. Link is in the description. Fam.